Yo, 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 what's going on? It's Terrell, Hall of Fame, D-Line, all that good stuff. Ohio State Buckeyes. <laughs> Look, man, this is not a dog video, but this is a video sometimes people just need to hear something. You know, and I'm just going to say it's a bunch of what ifs. And we can start off, you know, the first what if. You know, what if Oprah Winfrey, when she got raped as a young girl, had a stillborn baby, was abused, given away, thrown away, and basically told she was nothing, had stopped at that point and said, you know, that's it. What if Dwayne The Rock Johnson would have gave up when he went to Canada, got cut from football, uh, the Canadian Football League, had $7 in his pocket, and was basically told everything was over? What if that was the end of it? What if Michael Jordan would have said this is the end of it when the basketball coach said you wasn't good enough to make the uh, team in high school? What if Martin Luther King would have said this is it? when it was threats upon his life and they told him that your dream could never be and there would never be anything better than what it is. What I'm telling you, no matter how deep your situation is, no matter what anybody is in your ear telling you, whether it's about you being a better father or a businessman or whatever, nobody is gonna be with you when you're struggling. Nobody knows your struggles. You can't expect people to know your struggles. Stop begging people to understand what you're going through. Stop begging people to live your dreams with you. That's wasted time. Keep chasing your dreams and make it a reality at the end of the day those that were meant to take that journey with you will be there those who had all the doubts and walked away they were never meant to be a part of your dream over and over and over again i see people on the daily trying to convince people who really don't care these people are in your life to tell you that you cannot do this they're not there for any other reason Stop wasting your time, stop wasting your energy, believing that you can convince somebody on a dream that was never meant to be their dream in the first place. Chase your dreams, don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it. Don't get beat down by your struggles. Nothing great happens easy, it's gonna be some struggles. But you keep struggling, you keep grinding, you wake up every morning like an angry ass lion and you get after it. Ain't no damn lion ever chose to be a vegetarian because they couldn't get meat, they just found meat. Keep grinding, keep believing in your heart that you can do whatever the fuck it is that you're supposed to do. And don't let these people take away your dreams. It's plenty of people, great people, who had the opportunity to walk away. Bill Gates had a chance to walk away when they told him you crazy for dropping out of school to go play with these little electrical boxes. Everybody had a uh, story. Everybody great has a story where they had an opportunity to walk away and listen to naysayers and just be an average ass motherfucker. But if you believe in whatever it is that you're doing, and it don't have to be business-wise, it could be getting your life together, being a better parent, being a better brother, a better sister, a better whatever. No matter what the past was, no matter what the naysayers say, go after your shit and grind, man. Do not listen to these negative-ass people, because trust me, all that negativity means nothing. They want to see you stay in the same position you are, because they feel validated. They feel validated by the, your struggles. They get to say, look at him or look at her. She always messing up. She always doing that. That make them feel better about themselves because they ain't got no grind in them to actually be a better person. So they have to down other people. Don't listen to that shit. Grind for yours. Go after whatever you do and believe in that, man. You're here for a reason. God put you here for a reason. The reason why you're here is because you got a purpose. Believe in God's plan. Go after it with everything you got in it and understand that you got the greatest motor behind you possible. And that's God. Trust and believe. God bless y'all. Y'all have a happy holidays. Hopefully don't nobody get in any trouble. <laughs> I'll holler at y'all next time. Peace.